Hello there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in this morning's business news, distilled for you in three minutes. This is a cut down version of my weekday newsletter, Watson's Daily, uh, in which I usually comment on a number of companies and themes. Can I beat the buzzer? Today, I'm going to talk about Netflix and Ikea. So, Netflix has committed to increase the amount of European shows it produces by a third next year via a combination of proprietary and bought-in content. However, the lion's share, 150 out of 221 new shows, will be original. I think that this move puts even more pressure on the traditional broadcasters to up their respective game. Netflix now has a subscriber reach and it is consolidating its position by investing heavily in content and is making efforts by rivals such as Apple seem paltry in comparison. In extricating itself from Netflix, Disney is putting a massive bet on content being king, but I'm not sure whether it has the same distribution power that Netflix does. This is a story that will play out over the coming years, but as far as I'm concerned, Netflix looks like it will be pretty untouchable. In my opinion, the only rival that will even come close will be Amazon in terms of spending power and customer reach. The second thing I wanted to talk about today was IKEA. I mentioned the other day uh, their announcement to cut a shed load of staff. Well, yesterday they uh, announced a 40% plunge in profits as they decided to plough current profits and those for the next three years back into the business to help transform it from an out-of-town big box retailer into one with a mix of large out-of-town and smaller town centre outlets and improved online presence. The CFO, whose name I can't pronounce, uh, said that the company decided to take the hit a year ago and not pass the expenses on to its customers. It is hoping that this radical change to its business model will help to future-proof it for the next 75 years. I am still waiting for my prediction that IKEA could snap up some prime city centre space from ailing UK department stores, but that's just me speculating. You can get more detail on these stories and more in my daily weekday blog on watsonsdaily.com. For instance, in today's edition, I talk about US market and Bitcoin recovery, the digital ad boom in the UK, a Wagamama update, tobacco giant Altria, and good news for travel agent on the beach. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes. So please go to www.watsonsdaily.com to find out more if you are interested. See you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Watson, out.